this week more than a little bit upset but we'll get into that throughout the last few weeks we've journeyed through our emotions joy happiness sadness today we're talking about anger and wrath some of you may be experiencing this lately angry about not being able to see your friends mad about your sports seasons getting canceled or maybe not even being able to go to your first dances or your last dances at high school. So today is clap back. That was the week clap. There we go. That's how they clap back. <laughs> that made me happy. Some key terms to look out for this week are wrath. Wrath, the sin of uncontrolled rage, hatred, an outburst that can cause physical, emotional, and spiritual harm to ourselves and others. Satan. Did you say Satan? I did say Satan. Is it okay to say that word? Is it like Lord Voldemort? Uh, Does he show up if you say it? Who? Is it okay that we say that? Are we allowed to say that name? Yeah. Oh. Satan. Oh. Okay. My, back in. My, <coughs> Back in my day, we were. I was just clearing my throat. Oh, it's a coffee. Back in my okay. day, we we just didn't say that name. Okay. You gonna say it again? Satan. Oh. Ooh, like Mufasa. <laughs> Mufasa. Satan, a fallen angel or devil who continually lurks as a seductive voice in opposition to God. And last but not least, righteous anger. Righteous. Righteous anger. Righteous? Righteous. Anger. So, so it's okay to be right? It's right to be angry? Sometimes it is. Jesus, flip tables. Ooh. Can I try? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You got it. You got it. Righteous anger, a display of justifiable displeasure that serves to acknowledge and correct the harm or wrongdoing of another. Righteous anger, I like that one. Why? Uh, because it's okay to be angry based off of those key terms. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're getting I, it. I think that might work. I kind of like this Catholic stuff. It's a good, it's good stuff. Yeah. Do we have anything else today? No. Uh, oh, oh, let, let me tell you this one, this one time. Uh, Jesus, I'm so angry. Let me tell you why I'm angry. First of all, I'm still in the same clothes. I've been in the same clothes talking to you, it feels like, for weeks, Jesus. But I'm still in the same attire. Woo! Jesus, you know, you, know when, you know when I get angry, I clap. And I clap back, Jesus. Look. Mass ain't the same, Jesus. Mass ain't the same! This COVID done took masks from us. Gotta wear masks. At mass. We can't sing. We have to talk. Jesus, do you know how hard it is to talk? The Gloria? I need some type of music. Okay. Jesus, this is so, everything's so crazy right now, Jesus. Like Satan, Satan's like, ah, he's out there amongst all my friends. He's in my family members. There's division on social media. There's division in, in the church. I didn't know that there were two sides of church. I thought we were all Catholic, but no, there's a conservative and a liberal side. I don't know why, Jesus, but uh, that makes me angry right now. So, Satan is around doing his things, trying to manipulate all of us Catholics, turning us against each other. 
So that's the best way he could do things because he tempts us with wrath. So we can act and do irrational things. Satan's been tempting my friends with their thoughts in their minds and they're doing all types of irrational things because they don't have you, Jesus. That's why. I'm, this is just un, unacceptable. All right, Jesus. I understand a lot of nothing, but I come to you because all well, these emotions are inside. You know, there's, there's anger, there's wrath, and I'm just like, I'm at the end of it. If we don't understand our personal experience of anger, we may express it in unhealthy ways. I get that. So therefore, we have our wrath and we get, I'm upset. But you talk about righteous anger and it's so hard to have righteous anger, Jesus. Let me, let me read something which is so hard. Again, you said this, not me. Someone wrote what you said down that I can read this to you of what you said. Matthew wanted to talk about this in his fifth, fifth chapter, verse 44. But I say to you, not me, you said to us, to them, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Lord, and I do mean Lord, those are some heavy words, even more so now. I can only imagine back then, love your enemies, even those who persecute you. Lord, if somebody does a wrong TikTok video, I'm upset with them. Like, how am I supposed to love them? Because they're not building up your kingdom. Or someone cuts me off. It's Gives me angry to love them, okay? Righteous love, wrath, hands on us while we are discerning on righteous anger and we fall into that, that becomes wrath because we allowed him to manipulate whatever situation it is in his good and instead of yours. All right, so it's okay. It's okay to be mad about mass and can't touch anyone. Okay, okay. All right. It's okay to be angry at you because a death of my family. Yeah. Okay. It's okay to be angry with you. So I just say, Jesus, I'm angry with you, and that's okay. Well, let me try that. Jesus, I'm angry with you. Hey. Kind of feel better. <laughs> it's kind of this thing that was lifted off my shoulder. Maybe that's why you tell us to give it to you. All right. Okay. Because... We give it to you because you're the truth, the light, and the way. So you're the way. Because really, that burden that was on my shoulders, that uh, the angry burden, I just gave it to you, and you just did something to it. All right. Thank you. about that one too. Mm -hmm. A lot of wisdom from our old folks. Alright, so today we learned about the trap that Satan has set for us to use our wrath to get us to act irrationally without Jesus. We learned about what exactly righteous anger is and most importantly we learned that through our baptism Jesus is the way to divinity. This is the way! This is the way. <laughs> Be sure to tune in next week for our last night of the Mood series. So happy to have you guys with us so far. Peace. Peace out.